Here are the six herbs you should have in your medicine cabinet at home. I am going to tell you why and how you should use them. 1. Cayenne pepper 2. Activated charcoal 3. Garlic 4. Golden seal 5. Peppermint and 6. By no means least, slippery elm. The active ingredient in cayenne pepper is capsaicin. It can boost blood circulation significantly. In an emergency such as a heart attack or an angina attack, a pinch placed under the tongue can be life-saving, just as your nitro mint. This also is important to treat various types of pains, including headaches, diabetic neuropathy, nerve pain in the feet, uh, post herpetic neuralgia, and many other pain syndromes. You must be careful if you are taking a blood thinner, such as high dose aspirin or clopidogrel, or even warfarin, as this might increase your chance of bleeding. If you have an active ulcer, this might also exacerbate your symptoms. Uh, capsaicin and cayenne is safe in pregnancy and in breastfeeding. It can be used to make a tea, a teaspoon in 8 ounces of water. It can be placed in your food as a seasoning. Our number two herb is activated charcoal. This is not just an essential component in your medicine chest. It's also an essential medicine at my office. Uh, charcoal has a unique property in that it absorbs toxins from your intestinal tract. So it's indispensable in the treatment of acute accidental poisoning especially in kids but also in adults so if your child or anybody accidentally swallows bleach some household chemical activated charcoal taken immediately a teaspoon of this substance dissolved in four ounces of water drank immediately can prevent the absorption of that toxin it doesn't get through your intestinal barrier into your bloodstream so it can't remove toxins that have already been absorbed activated charcoal can be applied as a paste to the skin to improve skin health and remove toxins and rashes. Activated charcoal improves your digestive health in general and cleanses your body from various microbes. Activated charcoal is safe in kids, pregnant mothers, elderly, but certainly don't take this along with your medication. It might not get absorbed. Every kitchen should have garlic. This important seasoning or herb is indispensable in the acute treatment of high blood pressure at home. As a tea or as sliced and swallowed as a tablet, it can take your blood pressure down safely and rapidly to avoid an emergency. Garlic is also known to possess antibiotic, antiviral and antifungal properties. So for acute, acute respiratory infections taken as a tea or in combination with onion, this can be a very good home remedy that may avoid you needing to take medication. Garlic can be applied in many ways to the body, but be careful about applying garlic directly to your skin. It is very corrosive and may cause burns and rashes. Garlic should be avoided if you are taking powerful blood thinners, as it itself is a powerful blood thinner. So if your golden seal root is one of my favorite herbs. This herb has many uses. It's very important in its use to stop bleeding, especially of the gums of cuts and bruises that your, your child may get. And so applying the powder directly to bleeding gums or to a bleeding cut helps to stop the bleeding in short order. It also can be used on wounds and sores that may take a long time to heal such as a cold sore, herpes on your mouth or on your genitals or any other chronic wounds. Golden seal helps to kill germs and promote wound healing because taken as a tea it can be used to treat various respiratory tract infections, infected and bleeding hemorrhoids and it also helps to heal active peptic ulcer disease of course once your H. pylori has been eradicated. This herb is not safe in pregnancy and it's not safe to give to children. If you are taking a blood thinner, as with most of these herbs, be cautious how you use golden seal as it may increase your risk of bleeding. This is peppermint. This was my favorite 
hot beverage as a child, it's used to treat migraines, menstrual cramps, nausea and vomiting, gastroenteritis, along with many other conditions is well known. This is a very safe herb that can be taken in children as young as six months old. I did take it and even in pregnant mothers, peppermint is, can be used as an essential oil to apply to your tummy for menstrual cramps and other abdominal pain syndromes and can be taken as a tea, which is our favorite way to use peppermint. And the final herb is slippery elm. Slip slippery elm has gained its popularity because of its effectiveness in the treatment of gastrointestinal disorders. Slippery elm is known to induce and stimulate the production of mucin or mucus within your intestinal tract. And so this helps to coat your stomach and small intestine. And so it has been used in the treatment of acid reflux, peptic ulcer disease, gastritis, duodenal ulcers. And so as opposed to a antacid that this stimulates your, your body's natural defenses against acid by restoring that mucus barrier. So the acid can work naturally and the stomach lining is protected. This is a herb that you must use with caution. This is absolutely contraindicated in pregnancy. If taken in pregnancy, especially in the early stages, it will induce an abortion. So if you're pregnant, do not take this herb. If you're in Jamaica and you want to know where to get these and other herbs, you can check, you can visit Stone's Wellness Pharmacy in Old Harbor. There are various Maranatha food stores that's in Mandeville, Portmore and Kingston. There is Green Hills. That's in Sovereign Center, Mandeville, and Portmore. And you have, of course, Proactive Lifestyle, which has branches in Kingston, Ocherios, and Montego Bay. There are various other places, but these herbs are available everywhere. And I encourage everybody to go out right now and make sure that these herbs are within your medicine cabinet. It may save your life and the life of someone you love.